In this video, I'll show you how you can install plugins in Roblox Studio. Plugins are extensions that add additional functionality to Roblox Studio. Some plugins are free and some cost money. Before we begin, let's find a plugin we want to install. Go to View, Toolbox, and change the category to Plugins. I'll install the Developer Script Pack by I'm Fenice to use as an example throughout this tutorial. If I click this plugin, you'll see I get the option to buy for free. For me, it says install, but normally it will say buy for free if you haven't already bought it. If, of course, it's not free, you'll have to buy it. But this was an, a free plugin, which I'm using as an example. I have already installed it before. I've just uninstalled it to make this video. So for me, it just says install because I've already bought it. If you've never bought it before, it will say buy for free. Click that and then you can hit install. When you buy for free as well, you may get a pop up that says something. Just hit OK. And now we can close this window, go to plugins and manage plugins. A new window will pop up, just find the plugin we've just installed. If you can't see it anywhere, you may need to restart Roblox Studio. So let's have a look. If I scroll down here, it is up to date developer script pack. By default, it's been enabled for me. You can toggle the plugin on and off using the toggle button here. Make sure it is enabled and you can optionally choose to auto update the plugin. I would recommend doing this unless you want to have control over updates, in which case just make sure you check back regularly to update the plugin. You'll know if a plugin needs updating by going to the plugins management window and plugins with pending updates will be at the very top. There will be an update button visible too, which we can see here. I've got quite a lot of plugins. Now we can close this window, find the plugin we have installed. Here it is, script pack, and utilize it. Of course, every plugin is different, so I can't uh, show you how they all work. But if we were to click on this, on this one here, I can just add in last minute scripts. So I could just insert server stats. It will say, if I was to now go to view and uh, explorer, I now have under workspace or somewhere, I don't actually know where it gets added to, um, a server stats script. Here it is, it's under this model here. And it just it looks just like this here that's all for this video i hope you found it helpful if you did please leave a like and subscribe consider joining our discord server the link is in the description we are using this to try and build a community of developers and a place where you can share your ideas as well as ask for help with a bug or other or help others whose code isn't working see you in the next one